the new allegations against John Diddy Combs, a music producer is accusing hip hop mogul of sexually assaulting him and forcing him to have sex with prostitutes. P Diddy may be gearing up for an upcoming sentence because of the latest allegations against him. He's being accused of sexual assault by a music producer named Rodney Jones. These allegations have raised serious questions about the behavior of one of the industry's most influential figures. From accusations of sexual assault to solicitation, the details of this case are messed up. The allegations. So, what exactly are the allegations against Diddy about? The lawsuit, filed in federal court in New York, accuses Diddy of repeated instances of unsolicited groping and sexual touching. Jones claims that he was subjected to these acts without his consent, creating a hostile and uncomfortable work environment. These allegations paint a disturbing picture of Diddy's behavior behind closed doors. According to the lawsuit, Jones also alleges that he was forced to work in a bathroom while Diddy showered and walked around naked. This degrading and inappropriate behavior further adds to the seriousness of the allegations against the hip-hop mogul. But the shocking details don't end there. Jones claims that Diddy made him solicit prostitutes and pressured him to engage in sexual activities with them. The lawsuit describes a particularly disturbing incident where Jones woke up in bed with two sex workers, suspecting that he had been drugged. These revelations shed light on a dark side of Diddy's personal life that has remained hidden from the public eye. Jones, known for producing nine tracks on Diddy's recent album, Love, claims that during their collaboration, Diddy subjected him to repeated abuse, including unwanted and unauthorized touching of his body. His filing states that while living with Diddy, he experienced continuous and inappropriate touching, leading to a distressing incident in February 2023, where he woke up naked and disoriented in bed with Diddy and two sex workers suspecting that he had been drugged. Additionally, Jones accuses Diddy of coercing him and his son to provide sex workers for parties at Diddy's residences, threatening harm if they refused. Allegedly, Jones has recordings of Diddy and his team engaging in illegal activities, including providing spiked drinks to minors and sex workers at various locations. Jones is seeking $30 million in damages. In response, Diddy's attorney, Sean Holly, vehemently denied the accusations labeling Jones as a dishonest individual seeking unwarranted compensation through a lawsuit filled with fictitious events. Holly expressed confidence in disproving Jones's claims in court and taking action against those making false allegations. Furthermore, Jones's lawsuit implicates Diddy's son Justin, Chief of Staff Christina Corum, Universal Music Group CEO Sir Lucian Grange, and former Motown Records CEO Ethiopia Haptomerium as defendants. Justin Combs's representative firmly denied the allegations, branding them as lies in a desperate attempt to seek financial financial gain through defamatory remarks against the Combs family. It is important to note that this is not an isolated incident. Diddy has faced several sexual assault lawsuits in recent months, with individuals like R&B singer Cassie coming forward with similar allegations, accusing him of rape and abuse. The suit detailed disturbing allegations of drug use and physical violence by Diddy, including coercing Cassie into intimate acts with other individuals while filming them. Despite these serious allegations, Diddy has consistently denied all accusations vowing to defend his reputation and the truth against what he perceives as false claims. While Cassie's lawsuit was settled in 2023, it is clear that the accusations against Diddy are part of a larger pattern of alleged misconduct. Diddy's lawyer, Sean Holly, has vehemently denied these allegations, calling them pure fiction. Holly claims to have overwhelming and indisputable proof that refutes Jones's claim. However, the gravity of the accusations cannot be ignored and the truth will ultimately be determined through the legal process. These allegations not only expose the dark underbelly of the industry, but also raise important questions about power dynamics and accountability. The music industry, like many other industries, has often turned a blind eye to such behavior, allowing perpetrators to continue their actions with impunity. For victims of sexual assault, coming forward with their experiences can be an incredibly difficult and courageous act. The fear of retaliation, victim blaming, and the potential impact on their careers can deter individuals from speaking out. However, when one person finds the strength to share their story, it often encourages others to do the same, creating a domino effect that exposes the truth. In the case of Diddy, the allegations made by Rodney Jones are part of a larger pattern of accusations against the hip-hop mogul. The fact that multiple individuals have come forward with similar claims raises serious concerns about the culture within the music industry and the abuse of power. It is important to remember that these allegations are still being investigated and that everyone involved deserves a fair and impartial legal process. The impact of these allegations extends beyond the individuals directly involved, affecting the reputation of the accused and the perception of the industry as a whole. As 
As fans and consumers of music, it is crucial that we hold artists and industry figures accountable for their actions. By supporting survivors and demanding change, we can contribute to creating a safer and more inclusive environment for all. Nevertheless, the allegations made by Rodney Jones against Diddy have the potential to significantly impact the hip-hop mogul's career and reputation. If these allegations are proven true, it could lead to severe legal repercussions, tarnishing Diddy's image and potentially resulting in financial penalties. Beyond the immediate consequences for Diddy, these allegations shed light on a larger issue within the music industry. The prevalence of sexual assault and misconduct has long been a concern, and high-profile cases like this bring the issue to the forefront of public consciousness. The music industry, like any other, must address these allegations seriously and take proactive steps to ensure the safety and well-being of all individuals within its ranks. It is crucial for artists, executives, and industry figures to be held accountable for their actions, regardless of their fame or influence. The impact of these allegations extends beyond Diddy and the music industry. They serve as a reminder that no one is above the law and that the culture of silence and complicity must be dismantled. By shining a light on these issues, survivors of sexual assault are empowered to come forward, seek justice, and demand change. The consequences of these allegations for Diddy's career may also have a ripple effect throughout the music industry. Artists, fans, and industry professionals are forced to confront uncomfortable truths and reevaluate their support for individuals who have been accused of such serious offenses. It is important to remember that these allegations are still being investigated, and Diddy maintains his innocence. The legal process will ultimately determine the truth. However, regardless of the outcome, the impact of these allegations will undoubtedly leave a lasting impression on the music industry and its approach to issues of sexual assault and misconduct. However, However, when allegations of sexual assault and misconduct surface, they often spark intense public scrutiny and debate. In the case of Diddy, the response has been no different. Fans and followers of the hip-hop mogul have been left divided, with some expressing disbelief and standing by their idol, while others are deeply disturbed by the allegations and demand accountability. Social media platforms have become a battleground for these discussions, with hashtags and trending topics amplifying the voices of those who support the accuser and those who defend Diddy. The public's response to these allegations reflects the broader societal conversation surrounding sexual assault and the importance of believing survivors. Within the music industry, the reactions have been mixed. Some artists and industry figures have remained silent choosing not to publicly comment on the allegations against Diddy. Others have expressed their support for the accuser and called for a thorough investigation into the matter. The response from Diddy's peers and colleagues will play a significant role in shaping the narrative surrounding these allegations. Their actions and statements will send a powerful message about the industry's stance on issues of sexual assault and misconduct. It is worth noting that the music industry has been grappling with these issues for some time. The hashtag MeToo movement has prompted a reckoning within the entertainment world, leading to increased awareness and calls for change. Artists and industry professionals are being held accountable like never before, and survivors are finding the courage to speak out. The outcome of this case will have far-reaching implications for Diddy's career and his standing within the industry. If the allegations are proven true, it could lead to significant consequences, including loss of endorsements, damaged relationships, and a tarnished reputation that may be difficult to recover from. Fall of House Diddy the fall from grace of one of the music industry's biggest names, Sean Diddy Combs, has been nothing short of sad. In recent years, Diddy has attempted to rebrand himself as Brother Love, but his past is marred by a prolonged history of violence and controversy. From allegations of sexual assault and physical abuse to his involvement in tragic incidents, Diddy's reputation has taken a severe hit. In the early 1990s, Sean Diddy Combs was already making waves in the music industry, but his involvement in a tragic event would forever stain his reputation. It was 1990 when Diddy co-promoted a celebrity basketball game and concert at City College of New York, CCNY, an event that would go down in history as the CCNY tragedy. The event was meant to be a star-studded affair, drawing in thousands of excited fans. However, what started as a night of entertainment quickly turned into a nightmare. The gymnasium, with a capacity of 2,730 people, was ill-prepared for the massive crowd that showed up. Reports suggest that as many as 5,000 people tried to squeeze into the venue, overwhelming the limited security measures in place. As the gymnasium reached its maximum capacity, organizers made the difficult decision to close the doors, preventing any more attendees from entering. But chaos ensued outside as disappointed fans, eager to catch a glimpse of their favorite celebrities, broke down the gymnasium's doors and rushed to the lobby. The situation spiraled out of control, resulting in a stampede that claimed the lives of nine people and left 29 others injured. The tragedy sent shockwaves through the community and prompted an investigation by then New York City Mayor David Dinkins' administration. The subsequent 67-page report, titled A Failure of Responsibility, pointed fingers at Diddy for his role in the event.
The report cited Diddy for hiring inadequate and inexperienced security, a decision that proved fatal on that fateful night. The families of the victims sought justice, filing lawsuits against Diddy for his alleged negligence. The legal battles dragged on for years, with Diddy settling numerous lawsuits brought by the grieving families. It wasn't until 2000 that the last suit was finally resolved, bringing some closure to the tragic event. The CCNY tragedy marked a turning point in Diddy's life and career. While he was never convicted of a serious crime, the incident left a permanent stain on his reputation. The accusations of inadequate security and his alleged role in the tragedy would forever be associated with his name. In 1995, Sean Diddy Combs found himself at the center of another violent incident that would further tarnish his reputation. This time, the incident involved his once friend, Marion Suge Knight, and resulted in the tragic death of Jake Robles. The events that unfolded that night would fuel the violent rivalry between Death Row Records and Bad Boy, leaving a lasting impact on Diddy's career. It all began during a birthday celebration for musician Jermaine Dupri at Platinum City Club in Atlanta. Diddy and Knight, who were both in attendance, had a history of camaraderie, but tensions were brewing beneath the surface. As the night progressed, an argument erupted between members of the Bad Boy and Death Row Records entourages, escalating the situation to a dangerous level. Then Fulton County Sheriff Deputy Chris Howard, who was present at the scene, later recounted the events to the police. He explained that he had escorted Diddy and his guests outside the club, believing that the coast was clear for Knight and his entourage to leave. However, as Howard told the Los Angeles Times, the situation took a sudden turn when Puffy's guys came from around the corner and one of them had a gun. Chaos ensued as Howard chased the armed man who then handed the gun to another person. Tragically, that person fired the weapon, striking Jake Robles two or three times. The assailant quickly fled the scene, jumping into a car carrying Diddy's associates. Robles was rushed to an Atlanta hospital, but succumbed to his injuries weeks later. The shooting ignited a violent rivalry between Death Row Records and Bad Boy. Knight held Diddy responsible for the incident, further fueling the animosity between the two camps. Diddy, on the other hand, denied any involvement in the shooting, maintaining his innocence. The aftermath of the Jake Robles shooting have far-reaching consequences for Diddy's career. While he managed to avoid legal repercussions, the incident further tarnished his reputation and cast a dark shadow over his success. The association with violence and tragedy would haunt him in the years to come. In 1998, Sean Diddy Combs found himself embroiled in yet another violent incident, this time involving music executive Steve Stout. The altercation stemmed from a controversial music video and would leave a lasting impact on Diddy's reputation. It all began with the release of the music video for Hate Me Now, a collaboration between Diddy and rapper Nas. The video contained scenes depicting Diddy as Jesus Christ being crucified, which caused an uproar among religious groups and viewers. Stout, who was Nas's manager at the time, mistakenly sent a version of the video to MTV that included the controversial scenes, enraged. By the video's airing, Diddy was determined to confront Stout and demand that the crucifixion scene be removed. In a fit of anger, Diddy, accompanied by two other men, stormed into Stout's New York City office. The situation quickly turned violent as they attacked Stout, using a champagne bottle as a weapon. The assault left Stout with injuries, including a broken arm and jaw. The incident made headlines and further damaged Diddy's public image. In the aftermath, Diddy publicly acknowledged his wrongdoing, admitting his actions were completely inappropriate. He expressed remorse and apologized to Stout, acknowledging that he had disappointed himself. Diddy faced legal consequences for the attack as he was charged with second-degree assault and criminal mischief. However, he managed to avoid a lengthy prison sentence and was instead sentenced to attend a one-day anger management class. While the legal repercussions were relatively minor, the incident had a significant impact on Diddy's reputation and public perception. In late December 1999, Sean Diddy Combs found himself at the center of yet another violent incident, this time at Club New York in New York City. The events that unfolded that night would have far-reaching consequences and further tarnish Diddy's reputation. It was supposed to be a night of celebration and revelry, with Diddy and his bad boy signee Jamal Shine Barrow partying at the popular nightclub. However, the night took a dark turn when a confrontation erupted, leading to a violent altercation that would change the lives of those involved forever. The incident began when Diddy knocked a drink out of Matthew Scar Allen's hands, sparking an argument between the two. As tensions escalated, someone threw money in Diddy's face, further fueling the confrontation. Allen, in a fit of rage, threatened to kill Shine, adding to the already volatile atmosphere. Amidst the chaos, all three men drew guns, turning the crowded club into a scene of panic and fear. Shine, in a moment of desperation, fired three shots, injuring three innocent bystanders. The chaos that ensued was captured by surveillance cameras, leaving behind indisputable evidence of the violence that unfolded that night. Diddy, who was arrested shortly after the incident, was found in possession of two 9mm guns in his car. He faced multiple weapons charges, 
as well as charges for bribing his driver to claim ownership of the guns. The legal battle that followed would test Diddy's reputation and his ability to navigate the criminal justice system. During the trial, a witness testified that she saw both Shine and Diddy shoot their weapons. However, in a surprising turn of events, Diddy was acquitted on all charges, while Shine was found guilty of five of his eight charges and sentenced to 10 years in prison. The verdict left many questioning the justice system and the role of celebrity status in legal proceedings. The Club New York shooting had a profound impact on Diddy's career and public image. While he managed to avoid conviction, the incident further tarnished his reputation and cast a shadow over his success. The association with violence and criminal activity would haunt him in the years to come. In 2013, Sean Diddy Combs found himself involved in yet another altercation, this time with rapper J. Cole. The incident occurred at a 2013 MTV Video Music Awards after party and added another chapter to the long list of controversies surrounding Diddy. Multiple sources allege that a visibly intoxicated Diddy accosted Kendrick Lamar about his verse on Big Sean's Control, where Lamar proclaimed himself the King of New York. Diddy allegedly attempted to pour a drink on Kendrick before J. Cole intervened leading to a physical altercation between the two artists. The details of the scuffle were initially unclear, with conflicting reports about the cause of the altercation. Some sources claimed that Diddy was upset about Kendrick's verse, while others reported that J. Cole had made inappropriate comments to Diddy and his girlfriend Cassie. The New York Post even suggested that the scuffle occurred after J. Cole made inappropriate remarks to Cassie. While no punches were thrown, witnesses confirmed a visible disturbance and some pushing and shoving. Both Diddy and J. Cole immediately denied that a fight had taken place, but the incident left a lasting impact on their relationship. In the aftermath of the scuffle, J. Cole referenced the incident in his song, Let Go My Hand, rapping the line, my last scrap was with Puff Daddy, who would have thought it? The lyrics served as a reminder of the altercation and the tensions between the two artists. The scuffle with J. Cole added to the growing list of controversies surrounding Diddy, further fueling the narrative of a volatile and unpredictable figure. It raised questions about his ability to handle conflicts and maintain professionalism in the industry. In December 2014, Sean Diddy Combs found himself at the center of yet another controversy, this time involving the Canadian rapper Drake. The incident, which allegedly involved a physical altercation between the two artists sent shockwaves through the music industry and further tarnished Diddy's reputation. The altercation reportedly took place outside Live Nightclub in Miami during DJ Khaled's event for Basel Weekend. Words were exchanged between Diddy and Drake and tensions quickly escalated. Eyewitnesses claimed that the argument was over the rights to a beat that eventually became Drake's hit song Zero to 100. According to reports, the heated exchange turned physical with Diddy allegedly throwing a punch at Drake. The Miami New Times reported that the altercation was fueled by Diddy's frustration as he felt disrespected by Drake. Witnesses claimed that Diddy confronted Drake, telling him, you will not disrespect me. However, Diddy denied punching Drake and maintained that he did not engage in any physical altercation with the Canadian rapper. During an interview on the Breakfast Club radio show, Diddy stated, I didn't do nothing to Drake. Drake is my friend. While the exact details of what transpired that night may never be fully known, the alleged punch on Drake further damaged Diddy's public image. It added to the narrative of Diddy being a violent and dangerous man. And with several people suing him for sexual abuse, his downfall has been one for the ages. But it wasn't always so. Diddy had one of the most inspiring rises in the music industry, one where people saw him as a beacon of hope, his rise. Also known as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or simply Diddy, this American rapper, record producer, record executive, and actor has left an indelible mark on the entertainment world. From his early beginnings in Harlem, New York City, to founding his own record label, Bad Boy Records, Diddy's journey is a captivating tale of talent, ambition, and resilience. Diddy's journey to success was not an easy one. He faced numerous challenges and hardships from a young age, starting with his difficult childhood. Born on November 4, 1969, in Harlem, New York City, Diddy's life took a tragic turn when his father was shot and killed when he was just two years old. This devastating loss had a profound impact on Diddy and shaped the course of his life. Growing up without a father figure was undoubtedly tough for Diddy. However, he was fortunate fortunate to have a strong and resilient mother who worked tirelessly to provide for him. Diddy's mother, who worked as a model and teacher's assistant, became his rock and source of inspiration. She instilled in him the values of hard work, determination, and perseverance, which would later become the driving forces behind his success. Despite the challenges he faced, Diddy's talent and ambition began to emerge at a young age. He attended Mount St. Michael Academy, where he not only excelled academically, but also showcased his athletic abilities on the football field. His dedication and skill earned him recognition and respect from his peers and teachers, 
However, it was music that truly captured Diddy's heart and soul. He found solace and escape in the power of music, using it as a means of self-expression and catharsis. Diddy's passion for music grew stronger with each passing day, fueling his desire to pursue a career in the industry. After completing high school, Diddy took a leap of faith and enrolled at Howard University. It was a significant step towards his dreams, but his time at the university was short-lived. The allure of the music industry proved too strong to resist, and Diddy made the bold decision to drop out of college after his sophomore year. It it was a risky move, but one that would ultimately shape his destiny. In 1990, Diddy's journey in the music industry began when he secured an internship at Uptown Records. This opportunity allowed him to immerse himself in the world of music, learning the ins and outs of the business. Diddy's dedication and talent did not go unnoticed, and he quickly rose through the ranks, making a name for himself in the industry. However, it was not until Diddy founded his own record label, Bad Boy Records, in 1993, that his true potential was unleashed. With a vision to create a platform for emerging artists and redefine the sound of hip hop, Diddy set out on a mission to revolutionize the music industry. He signed talented artists such as the notorious B.I.G. and Mary J. Blige, nurturing their careers and helping them achieve unprecedented success. But behind the glitz and glamour of the music industry, Diddy carried the weight of his past. The loss of his father continued to haunt him, driving him to work harder and prove himself. He channeled his pain and emotions into his music, creating a unique and authentic sound that resonated with audiences worldwide. Diddy's difficult. Childhood and the tragic loss of his father shaped him into the resilient and determined individual he is today. It was these early experiences that fueled his drive for success and pushed him to overcome any obstacles that came his way. Still, Diddy's rise to fame in the music industry was nothing short of meteoric. After establishing his own record label, Bad Boy Records, in 1993, he set out on a mission to redefine the sound of hip-hop and make his mark on the industry. With an unparalleled drive and an uncanny ability to spot talent, Diddy quickly became a force to be reckoned with. One of the defining moments in Diddy's career came with the release of his debut album, No Way Out, in 1997. This groundbreaking album not only showcased Diddy's exceptional talent as a rapper and producer, but also solidified his status as a music industry heavyweight. No Way Out was a game changer, blending elements of hip-hop, R&B, and pop to create a sound that was fresh, innovative, and undeniably catchy. The album featured a star-studded lineup of collaborations, including artists such as the notorious B.I.G., Mace, and Faith Evans. Diddy's ability to bring together diverse talents and create cohesive and memorable tracks set him apart from his peers. The success of No Way Out was unprecedented. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart and was certified seven times platinum. It spawned several hit singles, including I'll Be Missing You, a heartfelt tribute to the late notorious B.I.G. that topped the charts and became an anthem for fans around the world. But it wasn't just the commercial success of No Way Out that made it a landmark album. Diddy's artistry and storytelling ability shone through in every track, captivating listeners and leaving a lasting impact. From the infectious energy of Can't Nobody Hold Me Down to the introspective and emotional Been Around the World, each song on the album showcased Diddy's versatility as an artist. Beyond the music, No Way Out marked a turning point in Diddy's career as a producer and executive. The album's success solidified his reputation as a hitmaker and opened doors for him to work with other artists. Diddy's production skills and keen ear for catchy hooks and infectious beats became highly sought after, leading to collaborations with artists such as Mary J. Blige, Usher, and Mariah Carey. The impact of No Way Out extended far beyond the charts. Diddy's visionary approach to music videos and marketing strategies set new standards in the industry. He brought a cinematic quality to his music videos, creating visual masterpieces that were as captivating as the songs themselves. Diddy's innovative marketing campaigns, including strategic partnerships and cross-promotions, helped propel the album to even greater heights. The success of No Way Out catapulted Diddy into the spotlight, earning him critical acclaim and numerous accolades. The album garnered three Grammy Awards, including Best Rap Album, and two MTV Video Music Awards. Diddy's undeniable talent and groundbreaking approach to music solidified his position as a trailblazer in the industry. But Diddy's rise to fame was not without its challenges. The tragic loss of his friend and collaborator, the notorious B.I.G., cast a shadow over his success. Diddy channeled his grief into his music, using it as a means of healing and paying tribute to his fallen comrade. His ability to turn tragedy into triumph further further cemented his status as a resilient and influential figure in the music industry. Diddy's talents extend far beyond the realm of music. He has also made a significant impact in the world of acting, showcasing his versatility and charisma on the big screen. Diddy's ventures into acting have allowed him to explore new creative avenues and further solidify his status as a multi-talented entertainer. One of Diddy's notable film appearances came in the 2001 drama 
Monster's Ball. In this critically acclaimed film, Diddy portrayed the character of Lawrence Musgrove, a death row inmate. His performance was praised for its raw intensity and emotional depth, earning him recognition as a serious actor. Diddy's ability to bring complex characters to life and captivate audiences with his on-screen presence was evident in this powerful performance. Another standout role for Diddy was in the 2010 comedy Get Him to the Greek. In this film, he played the character of Sergio Roma, a record executive. Diddy's comedic timing and natural charisma shone through, providing audiences with moments of laughter and entertainment. His ability to seamlessly transition between dramatic and comedic roles showcased his versatility as an actor. Diddy's foray into acting also includes appearances in films such as Made, A Raisin in the Sun, and Draft Day. In each of these films, he brought a unique energy and authenticity to his characters, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Diddy's commitment to his craft and willingness to take on diverse roles demonstrates his dedication to honing his skills as an actor. Beyond his individual film appearances, Diddy has also ventured into producing and executive producing. He has been involved in the production of films such as Notorious, a biographical drama about the life of the Notorious B.I.G. and Undefeated, a documentary that won an Academy Award. Diddy's involvement in these projects showcases his passion for storytelling and his desire to bring important stories to the screen. Diddy's entrepreneurial spirit and business acumen have propelled him to success not only in the music and acting industries, but also in various business ventures. One of his most notable ventures is his clothing line, Sean John. Founded in 1998, Sean John quickly became a prominent name in the fashion world, known for its urban-inspired designs and high-quality garments. Under Diddy's creative direction, Sean John became synonymous with style and sophistication. The brand's clothing and accessories showcased a unique blend of streetwear and luxury, appealing to a wide range of consumers. Diddy's keen sense of fashion and his ability to anticipate trends allowed Sean John to stay ahead of the curve and remain relevant in a competitive industry. In addition to his success with Sean John, Diddy has also made a significant impact in the world of spirits as the brand ambassador for Kirok Vodka. In 2007, he entered into a partnership with the brand, which proved to be a game changer. Diddy's involvement in the marketing and promotion of Kyrox skyrocketed its popularity, transforming it into a leading brand in the vodka industry. Diddy's partnership with Kyrox was more than just a business venture. It was a strategic collaboration that leveraged his personal brand and influence to create a lifestyle movement. Through innovative marketing campaigns and strategic partnerships, Diddy positioned Kyrox as the drink of choice for the urban elite and the epitome of luxury and success. Diddy's involvement in the business world extends beyond fashion and spirits. He co-founded the television network and news website Revolt, which aimed to provide a platform for emerging artists and give a voice to underrepresented communities. Diddy's vision for Revolt was to create a space where artists could showcase their talents and connect with their fans on a deeper level. In addition to Revolt, Diddy has also made strategic investments in various industries, including technology and entertainment. His business ventures include investments in companies such as Uber, Uber, Spotify, and Aqua Hydrate Performance Water. Diddy's ability to identify promising opportunities and make strategic investments has solidified his position as a savvy entrepreneur. Diddy's success in the business world can be attributed to his relentless drive, his ability to spot trends, and his knack for building strong brands. Even though his empire is falling, it's clear that in the past, he understood the importance of creating a cohesive and compelling brand image. Knowing all these, it's sad what he has become. It is important to note that while controversies and legal issues have surrounded Diddy throughout his career, he has not been convicted of any major crimes. It is essential to separate the allegations and legal battles from the facts and to allow the legal process to run its course. Both triumphs and challenges have marked Diddy's journey, and right now it's clear that his past demons are back to haunt him. Thanks for watching. Click on the videos on your screen for similar content.